All right, guys, so today we are doing a project I have been thinking about for literally months. We are completely remodeling the entire box turtle enclosure. We've got so much stuff to put in here. We have amazing ponds, a couple hundred gallons, got a great filter or pump, I should say. But um, this is gonna be so sick when it's done. And you guys are gonna be around for the journey. I'm not gonna tell you everything we're gonna do because you guys have to watch to find out. But we're gonna get started on the number one thing and then we're just gonna kinda decorate it after that's finished. That'll take the longest. But um, we're gonna completely remodel all of it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to take up all of this. So move all these rocks, take out the water, take out all the, the pre-made stuff. And then we're just gonna have to fill it back in, move stuff around, see how I like it. But this is gonna be the first step. So let's get to that. Got this all finished, got the uh, pre-made creek and the smaller pre-made pond out already. Went pretty well, but you may ask, what's next? Well, first off, we gotta, we gotta clean that off. All right, we gotta, that's, it's pretty nasty in there. But then we have this amazing 150-ish, I'm 250, it's 250. It's no less than 225. Let's just say it's 250 gallon pre-made pond we're gonna be putting it in for the wood turtles but it's gonna look so sick we're gonna place it around see how it works and then I know this video is gonna have a lot of time lapses but that's just how it's gonna be so yeah it's gonna look sick Finally got it dug. Now we just need to add the rest of the sand in the back. And before anyone gets concerned, this is a building right here and they have to lay sand down on it. So this is all sand. So you don't have to add any sand to the bottom at all. It's, it's already sand. So we're just gonna add it and see how it goes. Got the pond in, finally. Got it all leveled out, nice and level, nice and even. Now it's time for the box turtle, the eastern box turtle water area, it's the creek. It's gonna hook on right here. It's gonna be so nice. We're going to get a time lapse of this. All right, so we got the pond filled and we put all the rocks around the waterfall and inside of water for the box turtles so they can easily get out. And now Jonathan is burying the hose and the electrical cord for the pump that is right down there, which will be powering the waterfall, which will be circulating the water. It's just a pump, no filter, you don't need one. So that's what we're doing now. So here's how it's looking right now pretty dang good if I do say so myself. We have all this tubing buried right here. Dylan's gonna plug it in. It's like the Christmas tree reveal. All right, there we go. Three, two, one. There it goes. So the output right there. Good. So you can imagine 
box turtles and wood turtles live in forests and I have a forest. So we're coming out here, getting some good logs for the enclosure, found a nice one. We're gonna add it in. We're just gonna keep going through the creek bed, get some nice rocks, find some nice logs, whatever that works. We just cut this log with this little saw in like, look at this, this log in like three minutes. Sharp saw right here. That's what you need to get. I believe I said putting the pond would be the hardest part, but I was wrong. Taking up all these rocks from the creek bed, and then this log, then all these ferns, that was by far the hardest part. And it's a very steep hill. It is, so Dylan slipped every single time he went up. No with traction. With his boots. Anyway, all these, like, these are big boulders. I mean, these are like, we're gonna make the uh, ramp out of here, plant the ferns, place that somewhere, and then put them in, basically. All the grass is gonna start growing back. Grass will start growing back here again. So once that happens, it should be good. All right, guys, so here's what it looks like so far. This is pretty much done. There are gonna be a few things that I add onto this. You know, down the road, I'm gonna add some aquatic plants like water lettuce. Um, I'm gonna put some flat rocks around the corner of the pond. And then I'm going to be doubling up on the boards to make the barrier extra tall. But um, this is basically what's gonna look like. No, nope, gotta get the level out of here. As you can see, we got like a 250 gallon pond. Have this nice, you know, branch that goes into the pond. Um, and now all four corners have a bunch of rocks. All four corners, turtles can get out of. You have a hide here. You have the dog box, or the, now the turtle box. So I will be adding leaves and stuff once I can get through the leaves. Um, basically that's it. Over here we had a lot of space, so we got this um, piping they can climb in and out of. We got these um, what are these branches. I can't believe I branches anyway. Um, got some sticks here and then put bark on top. So this is gonna be another shade factor. Now these ferns we did find in the woods and what I've learned from over the years, you plant them and within about a month, a month and a, well, a, month and a half, they die. But in the next year, they come back. Like th these ferns over here, these two, I planted last year, they died within a month, and then now look at them. Thriving and as green as these. 